name is Andrew Romanish. I'm Garrett Brown. I'm Dan Brickley. Hi, I'm Brian. Hi, I'm Sterling. And had some silver maple cut up into a couple of different uh, cross cuts and, and uh, boarded up some. We're going to get some quarter sawn uh, over at the shop. I, I hired Wilford to uh, uh, nail up my uh, black walnut tree here at my house in Denver, Colorado. And I'm going to have a maple tree cut. I think it's a silver maple. A lot of times it involves me hopping out of my truck and running into someone's front yard and saying, No, don't cut that! <laughs> I'll take all that for free off your property. <laughs> uh, my friend was having their tree cut down and uh, she told me that she wanted to give me the wood and all I had to do was get it out of there. We had a black walnut tree go bad on us here. Uh, it was a tree that my grandfather planted and uh, we all basically cried when we had to cut it down uh, and didn't want to do away with the uh, dispose of the, uh, the, the wood in the regular fashion. Um, it's uh, a tree that came down um, from the house I grew up in here in Denver and um, it was uh, a nice tree that uh, we had a lot of good time with and I enjoyed a lot of time around that tree and I thought uh, it'd be a shame to just see it go to waste. In the woodworking world there's you know a bunch of different People who like to work together, and there's a group of arborists, and you know, if they get a call, like, you know, a walnut tree has has to come down, then you know, we get a call, and, and then we call our, our buddy Scott, and he comes over and and mills it for us, and really excited to get started on some projects for this wood. Uh, we have in mind some guitars, some tables, and drawers, and all kinds of things like jewelry boxes. And uh, an assortment of projects. We got plenty of wood here. So I teach drum, the drum building class at Red Rocks Community College, and uh, one of the things that we do is steam bent drum shells. I own Brickley Custom Drums. My company is one of a handful in the world that do steam bent drum shells, and uh, we need to use woods that have not been kiln dried. So we usually try to get green woods. Um, so we started make a, a tentative plan to. Uh, do some small cabinetry and some knickknacks and, and uh, maybe some tables and benches for family members as it's uh, for sentimental reasons and, uh, and uh, Wilfred was able to help us out. And I do a lot of slab style furniture. Uh, Garrett Brown Furniture is my company. So a piece like this could be uh, turned into a, a desk or a coffee table. I'm hoping to make some uh, coffee tables, uh, kitchen counter maybe, um, fireplace mantle, um, just a little, a little memory of uh, my childhood in our new house. I didn't throw it away because uh, I just think of all the wood that goes in the garbage heap that could be used to make something. I mean, we uh, we chopped down perfectly good, healthy trees in the middle of a old growth forest for for wood, and it doesn't seem practical to me to do that when you have trees that have died in the city and really uh, aren't really contributing to the whole natural beauty of the area, especially if they're <laughs> dead and just standing there, <laughs> like some of the trees in the neighborhood. There's several more trees in this neighborhood that are dead that could be filled up just like this one was. And, uh... So we always love locally sourced some wood and it, you know, it's bet <clears throat> people love stuff that comes right out of Denver's. We, we chose to have the mobile mill come to us because it, it was very, virtually hassle-free. It's, it's access uh, to the home was is easy. We had an expert uh, operator. Um, it just took a lot of worries and hassle out of having to bring the wood up to the mill. So uh, today we've been sawing up the wood over at our house all day and we got some really nice wood to show for it. It's probably about half the tree right here, uh, but the big majority of it. Uh, we still have a couple. I, mean, I think you cut off and came out to 800 board feet. Yeah, probably around 800 board feet we'll get out of this one walnut tree. Um, and a bunch of turning blanks for bowls, and you know, there, there really will be no waste from this tree um, besides like the small branches. And so. the sawdust. <laughs> and the sawdust. <laughs> yeah.